Welcome to Jethro's Garage. Uh, today, we're gonna be file fitting rings to the small block Ford. Um, you know, there's a few tricks here and there, and I'm not an expert, I gotta admit. And uh, I'm probably gonna make a few mistakes, but I'll, uh, I'll try to correct them as we go. But anyway, um, we're going to just do number one on camera. Number one is right here on a four small block four. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If this were a small block Chevy, it would be, think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could be wrong. It could be just the other way, but I'm pretty sure this is number one on a small block Chevy. So anyway, uh, let's get to it. I, I don't know what to do with my hands. Okay. Okay, I am ready now to file my top ring. Um, I've got my ring file set here. I've got my um, filler gauges. I've got a ruler. And I've got a micrometer. So first thing I've got to do is I've got to put this in the bore and see how far off I am. So here we are in number one bore, and I'm going to drop this ring in here. Or I'm gonna try to get it in there without scratching anything up, which isn't easy. Okay, so I've got it in there, but that's not where I wanna measure this. I wanna measure it two inches down in the hole. So that's why I've got my micrometer and I've got it set to two inches and it's locked down. So I'm gonna use this and this to set it in there. So I will push it down, not with the micrometer, but with my hand and get it to two inches. That's at two. That's not. I keep hitting the camera here. That's at two. Okay, so I'm down two inches in the bore. Now, another thing I could have done is if you have a nice ruler, I've got this little stainless, I could have measured it and got it right. And I'm seeing that it's easier to do with this ruler. Man, it's much easier to do with the ruler. Okay, now that I've got that, let's see. We can see this gap here. It's hard to see and it's not wanting to focus on the right point. Let's see if I can give it to you. See that gap right there? That's what we're wanting. And that's what needs to be 28 thousandths. Well, I know it's not 28 thousandths yet. So I've got me another one. 
say so I've gotten me two filler gauges. One of it is a dual filler gauge that's 25 thousandths and 27 thousandths. And then the other one is 28 thousandths. So I'm gonna check it and I'm not even at 25 thousandths yet. This is gonna be a long and length, lengthy process, but you can see, I can't even go in there yet. So let's pull her back out and measure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 10 turns on both sides. See how, see how that, that other ring was all compressed? This one isn't. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now I'm gonna do this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna get me a file and I'm gonna make sure I don't have any crazy burrs after me doing that. Okay, let's get in here and measure her again. I'm just gonna go an inch down this time. Give me some light on the subject. Wow, what the heck? Okay, I'm gonna inch down. And I don't see a whole lot of movement there, but guess what? I am at least 25 thousandths. Oh man, I'm close to 27. So I've got three thousandths to go. I gotta go from 25 to 28. Let's see if it's 26 thousandths because that'd be something good to know. I certainly need to ensure that I don't take off too much material. I, I don't want it any looser than this. So here's a 26. Yep, it's, uh, it is 26, it's just not 27. So, take it out, I'm gonna hit it three times on each side. And I am actually gonna do it opposite that I did last time. I'm, I'm flipping it over. So, one, two, three. You can't remove material here. One, two, three. Now, See if I got any bit of a burr. And 
and we're gonna check again. Are we having fun yet? This is can be a very tedious process. Um, Yeah, if I had, there's a little tool they make to make this part easier. It's just, you put it in here and then you just press the ring down with it. And it makes everything oh so nice. But I don't have that tool. Okay, let's do some measuring. I'm going to go with my 28 first. Man, it's, it's right there. It's like perfect. So, number one, top ring done. Now, we got to go with the second ring. Now, the second ring, I'm going with 30,000. Um... See right there? Let's see if we can see it. It says top right there. It's in other words, one side goes down, the other side goes up. Okay, now let's push this down an inch or an inch. I know I play too much, don't I? These uh, rings are nice and springy. Okay, that's an inch. Let's see where we're at. Um, let's see if my 25 will fit in there. Uh, these ain't or not. My 25 will not fit in there at all. So we'll pull it out. I'm gonna do the same thing, 10 on each side. It might get me pretty close. This one seems to be a little bigger or a little more gap. So, 10 on each side, Three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Yeah, gotta be careful. Gotta be more careful. 
don't want no scratches in there. It's an inch. That's an inch. I have no idea if y'all can see exactly what I'm doing here. But I'm just making sure that where I, that the whole ring is at the same place around the block. And it is. Now I'm going to measure it. I'm gonna start with my 28 thousandths and then see if it's there already. And, oh, I'm supposed to have a, I'm supposed to have a 30 thousandths, ain't I? It's almost 28 thousandths. I am going to pull the 30 thousandths out. I'm gonna do a duel for this one. It's a 28 and a 30. So the 28 fits. So I've got to take it easy because this one is close. What do you say? Uh, three, one, two, three. Try the 30. Actually, well, there's a 28. Yeah, here's 2830. Man, it is so almost there. <laughs> like, whew. I think y'all get the point. Uh, right now we're sitting at 23 minutes. And this is for two rings in one hole. Now the uh, oil control ring, it's it's going to be okay. You know, you don't you don't fool with it. It's not going to. I'll measure it, put it in there, and make sure there's nothing crazy going on. But yeah, you usually don't fool with oil control control rings. Um, I think they're oil control. I don't. Anyway, uh, you kind of get the point. Next time come to you, I'll have all these rings done, and I'll start getting ready to put one piston in a hole. When I put that one piston in the hole, it's, I'm gonna be ready to check my, uh, I'll probably put my cam in at the same time, and I'll check my uh, piston to valve clearance. So you may get three lessons all in one, or you may just get two, or maybe just one, I, I don't know. But I'm only going to put one piston in because if any, if these valves need to be have valve reliefs cut or have the valve reliefs cut more, I don't want to have all eight of them in and find that out. I'll, I just want to put one in and make sure I got plenty of clearance and then put the others in. Thank y'all for watching. Um, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, be sure to check out my other videos. Give this video a like, share, and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Y'all have a blessed day, and y'all take care of each other. Thanks.